Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. This time we will learn about determining the groups and behavior of a polynomial function. There are five steps in graphing polynomial function and the first is determine the groups and behavior. Second step is find the intercepts of the function. Third, identify the multiplicity of roots. Fourth is find the number of maximum turning points. And the last is sketch the graph or draw the graph. So we will be focusing on the first step which is determine the graphs and behavior. And the use of the leading coefficient test will help us to determine the graphs and behavior. And what is that test? Okay, we have here four cases. And in these cases, always remember the leading term. Okay, the leading term, especially the degree of the polynomial, if that is odd or even, and the leading coefficient, which is a sub n, if that is positive or negative. So, let's have case number 1. So, according to this, when n is odd and a sub n is positive, the graph will look like this. It will falls to the left and rises to the right. Example, f of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3. So, 3 is the degree of the polynomial and 3 is odd. And the leading coefficient is 1 and that is positive. So, the graph of this function will have the end behavior of falling to the left and rising to the right. Case number 2. When n is odd and a sub n is negative, so the graph will look like this. Example, f of x is equal to negative x raised to 5 plus x raised to 4 minus x plus 1. So the degree of the polynomial is 5 and that is odd and the leading coefficient is negative and that is negative 1. So the end behavior will be the graph rises to the left and falls to the right. Case number 3. When n is even and a sub n is positive. So example, f of x is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16. 2 is even and the leading coefficient which is 1 is positive. So the graph rises to the left and right. Next, case number 4. When n is even and a sub n is negative. So example, f of x is equal to negative x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed minus 3x squared. So 4, which is the degree of the polynomial, is even and the leading coefficient is negative 1 and that's negative. So therefore, the graph will look like this. It will fall to the left and right. Example here, identify the graphs and behavior if the given polynomial function is 7x plus x cubed minus 8 plus 9x squared. First, you have to arrange that in descending powers of x and take a look on the leading term. So, the leading term is the degree of the polynomial is 3, which is odd, and the leading coefficient is 1, which is positive. So, therefore, the graph rises to the right and falls to the left. Second, p of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. So, it is already arranged in descending power of x or standard form. So, focus on n, which is 2, and that is even, and the leading coefficient, which is 1, positive. So, therefore, the graph rises to the left and right. Another example, p of x is equal to negative 4 multiplied by the quantity x minus 1, multiplied by x minus 3, and multiplied by the square of x minus 4. So, what do you think will be the degree of the polynomial? That is 4, and that is even. And the leading coefficient is negative 4, which is negative. So, what do you think will be the graphs and behavior if n is even and a sub n is negative? That is, the graph falls to the left and right. Another example, p of x is equal to 2 multiplied by x plus 2 times the square of x minus 3. Okay, the n is odd. Why? Because the degree of the polynomial is 3 and a sub n is positive. The leading term is 2. And then therefore, the end behavior will be the graph rises to the right and falls to the left. Okay, last, 
P of x is equal to negative 3 multiplied by the square of x plus 2 times the cube of x minus 3. What is n and what's the leading coefficient? The n is 5, which is odd, and the leading coefficient is negative 3, which is negative. So therefore, the graph rises to the left and falls to the right. Thank you for watching and learning with me. God bless.